Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Let me just pop in this music disc for some ambiance while I go through everything that's new this time around. There's nothing new on this floor, but however, down here, I have a big change. This teleporter that used to go to the mine shaft, which was like the first one that I found, it now goes to an XP farm. One of you suggested doing that. So I made looked up like the good way to make an XP farm, and here it is. This is like. Uh, around the uh, place where I first uh, went into this whole cave system there used to be a big waterfall here but I got rid of it because it was annoying <laughs> I tried to like first get it to go through here and whatnot but then it just kept uh, bugging me so I got rid of it and made these uh, doors and walls here to contain this area there's a lot of exits here because this is a uh, pretty complex uh, cave system or whatever <coughs> and behind this wall is the uh, zombie dungeon that I uh, marked on the map it's like uh, this one it's like the first dungeon that I found and right now I have it on peaceful so I can demonstrate you what happens to the zombies as they spawn in here so the room is all dark so that they can spawn and no matter where they spawn, uh, spawn around here the water will make sure that they flow over here into this mob evader it's like uh, layers alternating between water and signs because like when they stand here they realize that they're drowning and then they go up and then they end up into the next water and keep going up and up and up and up and up and up all the way up to there through all these which i the signs which i put numbers on to make it easier to uh, <coughs> count how many i need and then the water keeps pushing them down here to this part where they will stand until the next mobs comes comes down and pushes them down here where they will hurt themselves so badly that they can be killed with just one hit with a weapon or two hits with a uh, item of your choice supposedly they should be able to you should be able to kill them with only one punch but uh, i think the tutorial was like oh so old that they uh, changed the way they get damaged or whatever i tried to like uh, remove one block so that they would fall even further but then they just end up dying from the fall and now let's put it on uh, normal to see how they go and while they do that we can go up here and ob observe them from these windows here this is like the down way and this is the up way and then i can also of course look over here to see if they spawn yes it's on normal so they should spawn any minute now come on i'm here you suckers there they go they try to reach me but they can't but let's uh, leave that place anyway so that they go quicker into the mob evader mob elevator there he goes hey buddy what's up <laughs> how are you doing see you next fall have a nice trip and then he's gonna go down here after he gets all the way up it takes a while for them to get up there but they will eventually did any others go through yet? Come on, any day now. Oh, it's taking longer than I remembered. Crickets are starting to make no. Oh, there goes another one. <coughs> well, while we wait for them, I could uh, talk about what I've uh, picked up from these guys. I've got like a lot of leather armor with different. Uh, what should we call it? The enchantments, and I also got a pair of onyx boots, which I, uh, because I can't use them when I have the long fall boots. Oh, there goes one. So instead, I just uncrafted them with the uncrafting table and used the onyx to uh, repair my stuff. There's one, so if I punch him twice, he dies, or if I use a weapon like this one, they die from one hit. So this is a quick way to uh, farm XP. <laughs> So I used the onyx boots to repair my uh, pickaxe, I mean sword, I got only two plate pieces from it. And then I did a trip to the nether to get more onyx because none of these guys dropped any more onyx things. So I went into the nether, used the uh, mag magic carpet to fly around look for uh, onyx. And I found like uh, eight pieces or something like that and used them to repair the pickaxe and a bow in combination with the XP that I got from this farm because you need like 30 XP to repair this and 24 for this and 26 for this or something like that. <laughs> so you can have done it without the XP farm. <coughs> uh, 
there's another exit here this way is the place is so complex anyway that is the xp farm nice way to get more levels and then let's go back to the house for other new stuff there's a new sign here that points to the kitchen and down here we have another sign that says portals and library and further down there more signs which i'll get to later but here you can see the biggest change in the kitchen floor there's no more bedroom here i got rid of it and moved it somewhere else now there's more room for chests such as this one with weapons and armor in it and the tools are now back here and there's the ender chest i put some uh, backup armor and weapons in there alongside potions and whatnot and torches apparently as well and here we have some pet eggs i got a bunch of fish things to do in aquarium which i haven't done yet though but i'll probably do that after this session <coughs> and this one has the dyes and the wool and the backpacks oh yeah this one also has maps this uh the rest of the chests are the same, except for this one now has furniture, carpets, firewood, and potions. It used to have the tools. Put in one that over there, closer to like the, this thing and whatever. And here's a here's a doggy who teleported to me, so now he has to uh, sit here all alone as punishment. <laughs> and there's another sign for for the lulls. Not like, not like we really need it for the balcony. Anyway, down here we have new stuff such as the incinerator where I can stu uh, throw stuff like run flesh if I want to get rid of it permanently. <clears throat> and then back here we have my bedroom. Moved it here, made a nice little space for a double bed to uh, drawer thingies, whatever. Nice little bookshelf and Firefly lanterns and epic paintings, and a little chair and a comfy uh, armchair, and my own little cactus. Which brings us to the new mod that I have this time. It's called uh, Painter's Flower Pots. <clears throat> They're like customizable flower pots. You can uh, change their colors with dyes, and you can also put textures on them with pretty much you know, any like building block. For this one, I put some sandstone in it has the texture and then planted a cactus in it the other customizable thing is that you can plant pretty much any plant in it such as the cactus over here we have more these ones are uh, colored with orange dye i think and they should have orange flowers in them but unfortunately for some reason all the pam's uh, wee flowers look the same even though it should be like compatible with pam flowers but Maybe that's a glitch or update needed or whatever. <coughs> Speaking of updates, I know that uh, 1.6. whatever 2 came out like a week or two ago, but I'm still unfortunately at 1.5.2 due to some major mods not not updating, such as more creatures. Uh, anyway, here we have a shit ton of more pots. This side has like different uh, wood textures. Oops wooden textures on the uh, pot there and then the leaves as the plant and this one is uh, spruce, this one's jungle, this one's oak, birch, uh, acacia and uh, twilight stuff and then we have the uh, colored uh, <coughs> autumn leaves or whatever and then I ran out of uh, logs that you can use for uh, textures so I put some nether brick, uh, stone brick uh chiseled stone and quartz in these and this one is supposed to be an acacia uh sapling but for some reason also all the saplings or most of the saplings look the same and this one i think is like a jungle tree uh birch tree sapling but it end ends up looking like an oak tree sapling for some reason pretty much any normal sapling ends up looking like that i don't know why and then on this side of the um <coughs> Pots have different dyes on them for the color, except for these three. This one is like red wood logs, this one is red uh, brick, and this is red cobblestone, I think. And they have like cactus and small cactus and dead bush in them. Well, this one, uh, there's another uh, like group of plants that look the same. Where the hell did it go? Oh, now did the stupid cactus destroy it, damn it. Oh, well, it was like a mini cactus, which uh, doesn't look as it's supposed to in the pot for some reason. 
and these uh, colored flower pots are like supposed to have the uh, Pam's uh, different colored uh, flowers in them. Damn it! <laughs> Freaking cactus destroyed another one. Like this one is magenta wildflowers, but for some reason it turns into white roses when you put it in there. And then these two have uh, mushrooms in them. I had to actually use cheats to get some mycelium. You know, because another custom thing about these pots is that you can put different ki kinds of uh, dirt or soil or whatever in them. And you can't plant any mushrooms unless you have mycelium in there. <coughs> Pretty much all the other ones have dirt in them except for these three. They have sand as the soil. Ow! Stupid cactus, you already destroyed two of my plants. And then I also uh, put some more armor on these. I think these two or three are new. I wanted to film with something. I might change them later though. And then the snake habitat is now complete. It's got like uh, sand, sandstone, red cobblestone, and some dirt along with some more cactuses, dry grass, and a dead shrub. And we got new, two new snakes in here. Liquid snake is now a buddy of solid snake. And then Sir Hiss is the newest addition. He's like an orange snake or whatever. Liquid snake, I think his species is green snake. Although I'm not entirely sure. Solid snake is a cobra and snake pliskin is a uh, coral snake, I believe. <coughs> Then on to the next habitat where we already, you can already hear the noise, the goats are fighting because I have two new goats. Goats now, there's uh, Grant and Greg, both brown goats and they have like different uh, horns and whatever compared to Gordon Free goats and they must be like a different species or different mob because also their behavior is different, they keep fighting each other like half the time. Gordon doesn't uh, do anything to them, just makes noises. Bunny habitat is still unfortunately uh, empty because for some reason I haven't seen any bunnies for ages. But I will run into one eventually, of course I could use cheats to spawn them in and whatnot. Then uh, over here I changed this tree into a fruit tree. It looks like bananas but I, I think it's a walnut tree. Instead of bananas, um, and then this one is pear tree or something. Possibly they're not ripe yet, and this one is uh, mangoes, I believe. And then over here, I have also uh, more uh, fruit trees, a shit ton of them actually. I, I uh, went and like spammed uh, bone meal everywhere. You can see a lot of grass growing around there. And Plants and whatever, those are all from me spamming uh, bone meal to get more, um, or get every one of the, um, what you call it, the uh, fruit tree saplings. So now we have all types. There's like peaches here or oranges, whatever. This one, I don't remember what that is, maybe lime or something. Or this one might actually be lime. I'll have to look at my uh, food just to see what all these are. I don't remember by uh, heart. This one's cinnamon tree. It's like special because it grows on the bark instead of hanging from the leaves. Cinnamon. This one's lemon, I think. And then we got some star fruit here. Yep. And uh, these are olives. And this one is maybe peach. This one I don't remember. And the tall one. Oh yeah, this tall one is dragon fruit now, I remember. Let's see, uh, there's a cinnamon tree over there. I left some of the uh, uh, saplings intact. Just to get some more natural looking forest or whatever. <coughs> uh, so so uh, yeah, I think, th oh, there's a cherry tree, I forgot to mention that. Let's go harvest it, I think I forgot to harvest it last time that I went through these. <clears throat> and nice that they like, turn into their, uh, uh, unmatured status or whatever. 
Sort of like some of the uh, crops that I have. Let's go just make some of them. Or actually, for these, you need to either right click or uh, left click, depending on the type. These ones you have to smack so it like completely destroys them. Uh, I want to replant that, get the orange out of here. But then for others, mm, damn it, let's just put stuff in here then. For others, you need to uh, right click on them like these. Uh, what are those? Kiwis. So some you right click, some you left click to get them. Uh, why is this empty? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I think I removed some flowers in hopes of updating to 1.6.2 because apparently you need to remove all your planted crops and flowers before you update to 1.6.2 but and then I couldn't update it because more creatures wasn't updated. Hopefully we'll do that uh, before the next session. Yeah, let's look at this chest where I have all the vegetables and fruit. Get your walnuts and uh, limes, mangoes, cantaloupes, sweet potatoes, ginger, coffee, eggplant, blackberry. Oh, speaking of these, raspberries, I figured out that I actually need to grow them on uh, water instead of land, which is odd. And then there's dragon food, broccoli, star fruit, rice, onions, so much crap. <laughs> Most of these I haven't even used for anything yet. Because it's easier just to, like, bake potatoes or something and <laughs> carry a huge stack of them. Uh, there's mustard as well, and pears, lemons, all kinds of crap, oranges. Oh, I have some lava buckets here, I took them from the nether. And well, here's some stuff that I made, a cup of coffee, taffy fries. Spring salad, steamed peas, and a carrot cake. <laughs> Although, to be the most efficient food, you need to like craft a big stack of them, like these foot longs that I did. Speaking of which, let's eat one because I'm pretty hungry, and these to uh, restore like six or eight of your hunger. Very nice. <coughs> Uh, now put the crap away before heading into the next adventure, which I think will be uh, not into the, uh, what should we call it, uh, goddamn Twilight Forest, not in there, but in a brand new place, which I will get to in a moment as soon as I can, oh shit, put this crap away, potato goes in, and this one. I've turned some of these into like crates to uh, save room. I have any side a beat in there. Just beat it. Eggs go in this one. And run flesh over here. I have a shit ton of that now thanks to the here. Uh, XP farm. Alright, here is the new. Uh, Next adventure, I made a wyvern portal staff using an essence of light, a uh, eye vendor, and a blaze rod. I had to go, that was another reason I wish why I went to the nether to put ingredients for the essence of duck, I mean fire. And this one I needed the hearts to make it. Uh, let's see if I have all my stuff. I have a whip here because that's apparently what we use to control the uh, wyverns. Although I probably don't need it in there because in that place you only need to kill the wyverns to get their eggs and then hatch them in here or the nether. Anyway, I might as well take it. So now I just need to uh, swing this thing to get there. Hi -oh! 